Hey, hello, it's Jackie here. Um, today I'm going to show you a little about um, how you can automate stuff with Excel through AutoHotKey. We'll use Calm. It's uh, the it's a way to access some of the automation you can do in Excel. So um, I'll simply start off with showing you how you can create a new Excel window. So let's start here. So I'll use a command from the normal auto hotkey setup, which uh, is fairly simple. It's Excel app no, like so. So that line will simply create a new Excel object and store it in the in the variable OXL over here. So now, if we simply ran that, it wouldn't really show up because Excel starts up invisible. So to make sure we'll actually see this, we'll put in this visibility and set that property to true. This way when we actually run this, Excel will start and it will be visible. But just having an open Excel window might not do much for us. So let's try and do this a little bit more. Like, let's add in, um, let's add a workbook just to be sure that we actually have something to work in. So that's workbooks then add to have a new one like so and to have something show up in there we can use again OXL and then range and within that range we wish to set the value in the cell A1 cell A1 like that and to set a value in there, we'll simply add value property for that here. And then to add something to that, we'll use those. And here we can simply add the number three and to uh, put in a little more, we can add something in another cell again, range in A2, we can add another value maybe, let's say we add the value 7 here, yeah, yeah, that'll, that'll be good, and to then actually do something with this, our Excel again, always starting with that, as that's what's holding our Excel object over up here. So let's uh, say that in cell A3, A3, we'll put in a formula so we can actually have something happen. So in cell L3, we'll put in the formula. Let's sum up the values from A1, A2, like so. So now we are putting in the formula here, sum A1 and A2. That's great. So if we simply go with that, we could we could stay there. Would 
yeah, as this is an example of how you do stuff with Excel, maybe we should add a little bit more. Let's color something in. So we'll color in this range as well. Range A1 to A3. And we wish to color the interior. So let's say interior. Here, like so, and we wish to set a color index like that. To actually set that to something, let's let's fill it with the color nineteen, like so. Um, yeah, sure. So there, I actually missed something there, like so. That should work. So. Yeah, we can do a little bit more as well. We'll add some watering. I think that that would be good. So again, let's put in a line, a, a summing line, perhaps on A3. Oh, A3 like so. And we'll simply put in some borders. Um, yeah, which is the love top one is the eighth one, like so, and we'll set the line style to be one, and we'll that's a continuous line and. The, the eighth is a constant, uh, the edge top, and the one here is a constant as well. It's continuous, so we'll have a continuous line on the top edge of the cell A3. So let's also give it a little bit more maybe we should make it a thin line yes a thin line let's do that so again we'll go range and we'll go a3 like so we'll again act on the borders and it's still the top edge one and then we'll set the Width of that one to two. That's two. That's the constant for a thin line. Make so thin. Again, all of these things can be looked up in the object browser in an Excel window, as an example, or you can simply search for them online. But for this example, I I know them and. Therefore, I'm simply using them, but you'll see me run this code in a moment where you'll see all of this actually come to, to execution. So let's also make sure that the result of our formula actually stands out. So let's make the font. Um, bold, like so, and we'll set that to true, like so. Yeah, so now it will probably look pretty good. Our small one here, um, yeah, perhaps we could store one of these values as well. Perhaps we should store the the value of A3. So we'll take A3. Like so this is a variable. So we'll do it like this. And then O Excel range. And we'll say which range we want to have. So that's the one there. We'll the value of that one. 
So this way we'll we'll get something that's not the formula but the actual value of the formula. And we'll store that in A3 like that. And next we can then perhaps select something we can select can select the next cell just to have the section section B somewhere. So we'll select the range A4 like that and then select that's all that's needed for that. This will when Excel is running that will simply select A4 and to actually show something we'll use a message box it's to show the actual value of, of this so we know that it, that our hotkey the script actually knows what's inside that so what we can do is we can uh, say something like this to force an expression then let's say a3 a3 is the sum of a1 and a2, something like that. Then I'll return that. So now we have gone through uh, some simple steps. We are setting some values. We are putting in the formula. We are coloring uh, a range of cells. We are setting some border styles and some border width. We are setting a specific font in one of the cells. And we are storing a value. And we are selecting something in the work. So let's try now and run this. So I'll give this a name. I'll say Excel. Um, Excel demo maybe let's call it that so like that and then I'll run it and it's already saying that I actually made a typo which is fine as I did so let's fix that I simply wasn't the wrong pace on the keyboard, so like the little application. Yeah, we'll save it and we'll run it. So now you show uh, see an Excel window come up. Have the things happen quite quickly. You can see the Excel window is actually up here. If I now open it. It seems to have done what we asked, but for some reason it has, has scrolled a little down. But you can see it here. So as you saw before I clicked this, it actually has selected the cell A4. It has colored in cell A1, A2 and A3. It has made a thin line just above the cell A3. Swift asked that the number 10 is actually bolded, which is also what we asked for. And our message box is actually telling us that the sum is 10. So, yeah, that worked great. Hope that helped you. Uh, see you next time.